Hi guys, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we're gonna to look at the ASUS management interface, specifically the web management interface. We're reviewing a number of their new servers, and so we wanted to check out what their new solution looks like since it's changed in this generation. So as we log in, what we see is actually something fairly familiar. This is an American Megatrends Megarack SPX based solution for their web management. And that's a pretty nice solution. It's a new system that they have with modules that allow vendors to add in vendor specific modules, test them out separately from the main firmware, which means that companies like ASUS should be able to deliver not just the base package, but then over time increase the number of capabilities they support and have nice new features. So we're taking a look at this. We have our nice dashboards, the HTML5, so it works well on your phone, it works well on tablets. You can see that there's a number of, everything's actually working pretty well, but we're gonna to go to the sensors and you can see that there's a number of sensors. You can see that we have two drives, for example. You can see that we have power supplies. You can see some of the temperatures, fan speeds, all that kind of information in the sensor readings. There is field replaceable unit information, which isn't filled out on our test unit. There are things like the IPMI event event log that you can see, video logs, audit logs, all those kind of base features that you're used to in a AMI solution. There's a number of nice little settings features. This is pretty easy to navigate. You can see features like the ability to add in external directory servers, but there are also some kind of interesting features here, which is in terms of uh, how you wanna do your fan control. For example, ASUS can actually tell you, hey, if I wanna change this, these particular fans to run at these temperatures and run at this duty cycle, you can do that. So if you have a solution where you need to have higher or lower speed fans to either increase cooling or decrease noise, that's actually possible and customizable with the new solution. Now on the remote control side, you have the traditional Java uh, serial overlan and you also have something which is, if you hit launch KVM, this is gonna be a giant window. I don't know why it launches to full screen mode, but it does. And what you actually get here is a nice IKVM solution. And this has all your controls that you might want, like power controls. You can see some of the nice features like the ability to manage your servers out of band and actually get into things like BIOS directly from here. So you can see, you can see the serial numbers and everything that we need, you can hit delete. And you can see that we're actually using an AMD Epic based system. The remote control also has features like image redirection and media redirection. You can use local images or remote images and that's pretty standard in these types of features. There's power control, so you have different reset cycles. One of the features that ASUS doesn't have today is they don't have the ability to reboot into BIOS. A lot of server vendors like HPE and Dell do have that capability where you can use a power action and go directly to a BIOS setup, which is important because it's kind of a pain to sit there and have to watch servers with a lot of memory initialize and then remember to hit the BIOS entry key. There are other features like you can actually set a action so you can set the LED indicator so you can actually find it in a rack. There's maintenance modes which allow you to do firmware image updates, save configurations, restore factory defaults. There's also, which is really nice, a BIOS update feature. This is something that companies like Supermicro actually charge you extra for and are not included in their setups, but we have it here. Overall, this is a pretty vanilla solution, but it works pretty well. This is something that AMI has been developing for years. We first saw this SPX solution a couple years ago. So at this point, it's gone from a brand new product to something that has been used by a number of server vendors. And so we see this certainly as something that is good for ASUS that they're updating their management interface to be a lot more modern in this generation. So we hope this video helps and stay tuned for future reviews of their servers. Thanks for watching. You can check out more from our awesome STH team on the STH main site. We have other videos on YouTube and you can always subscribe to our channel and see 
whatever is coming out next.